Hey, party people, leap people. How are you doing? I'm Coach Megan. So we're gonna go over um, some tips for a switch leap quarter turn. I am working on my switch leap half. Okay, baby steps. So here is what it looks like. So everything's pretty much the same as the regular switch leap. Except you're obviously not landing on one foot. And you really want to make sure to get your back leg up enough. Because I noticed there were some where I had my front leg way up, but my back leg was only here, and then it made it look kind of like wimpy. So really, um, I noticed my chest was really, really lifted. And I was like trying to just throw my head into the clouds and stall it almost for a second and then pull your shoulder if you're a righty you're going to pull your shoulders and hips to the left and then close your feet together don't forget about those hips really keep that chest up and then if you're a lefty um, you you would have your left arm forward, right arm to the side, and then you once you hit this position, stall it, and then your right hip and shoulder are gonna turn. That's a good drill, by the way. So what you can do, you can just hold an arabesque like this. Here's a righty. Left arm forward, right arm side. So this is like what you would be like in the air, except for this leg would be extended. But I'm not a magician, so I can't stand like that. So from here, boom. And you can even bend those knees a little when you land. Pivot that hip. Because obviously when you land, you need to bend a little with your bootay under. And it'll come. It took me some time to get the timing. Um, I noticed when I went forward too much, when I, when I pushed, See how it's traveling? I just couldn't do anything at all because all your momentum's going that way. So you really, really, like I said before, gotta, you know, up, up, and away. Like you're a hot air balloon, but a fast one with legs. And when you get, when you're pushing off your leg, remember to um, get a good bend here, not too low, but you don't want to take off like a straight leg because then you can't get any lift, that's a good drill too. You can lunge here, lift that front leg up and hop, okay? Because from there, you're gonna switch it back and then the other leg's gonna come forward. So I wish you luck. It just takes practice and really stalling that switch leap. And remember before you step into your leap, I like to do almost a, like a big long step because it helps me sink down because then I can lift up more and do the stalling situation. Also, think of completing your whole switch leap, like really getting a big split, because a lot of them I just wasn't. I was trying to rush the turn. I was being like a rusher. So I, you know, wouldn't finish the whole thing and then I'd turn too soon and then it looks kind of. So when I thought, really get that back leg up, front leg up. When you feel that point, that's when you close that back leg in, or your both legs together, and turn. And then it'll be the same thing for the half, but you just have to get a little more height and a little quicker turning action, and then you're in the business. And I have a complete um, regular switch leap tutorial. So to go through all the steps leading up to the leap. Go ahead and watch that, because then I don't have to explain it all over again. Okay, thanks for watching. Good luck with that switch leap quarter turn. And it's a nice leap. It looks really, you know, cool and pretty. You can do it for dance or your floor routine or whatever. Here's the end of the video trick. Thanks for joining me.
in beautiful Santa Monica.